So, you dream of being a jumper, but your mother never approved. Not a problem. Jumping in video games is usually divided into three separate animations. Now, if you're doing a first or third person shooter like we are, you do not want to animate the top half of the body, because that is controlled by the player as they aim around with the mouse. Otherwise, go ahead and animate the whole body. Anyway, the first part is the initial leaving the ground point that most of you probably imagine. Now, this animation is super straightforward and by the book, and can be done with the basic formula that we've been using the entire entire series. The first frame should be your idle, the last frame should be your free fall pose. Make sure that both of these are completely keyed with A and I. Then copy the first frame and paste it over here, move the hips down for the wind up, and then add an extension frame to mark the change in momentum before she leaps up into the air. You can easily create this by pressing the A button and copying and pasting this frame here. Just bring the hips down a little bit farther, and the very next frame should be the king frame of the animation. As usual, give the king frame an extension by copying and pasting it to exaggerate the change in momentum. Okay, the second part is the fallen animation. The fallen animation is important because what if your character jumps off something really, really tall? Well, that is the point when you would want to loop a falling animation. The animation is pretty simple, the beginning and end should be the same. And just make sure that there are one or two frames in the middle that contract a tiny bit. Alright, the last part is the landing, and it's usually activated when the character actually touches the ground. Now, some games have two landing animations one for normal jumps, and one more for a heavy landing if the character fell from a really, really high place. Regardless, landing animations are super easy to make. The first frame should be your fallen pose, and the last frame should be your idle. Press A, copy the frame in order to paste it, and create the second frame, which should be contacting the ground into a squat. And because the final frame is the idle animation, we know that the momentum is going to change from slamming down into the ground to rising up for the idle. So we'll need to create an extension frame to absorb that change in momentum. To do this, press A, copy this frame, paste it over here, and make it a little heavier than the original. You're done. If you want to make a heavy landing animation, the easiest way to do that is to copy and paste the normal landing animation and make the wind up and extension frames even lower than the original. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.